Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm low-key upset because I can't find my headphones, but here are some footage of the Philippines, actually, um, that I forgot to add in part one. So, in these first clips here, you can actually see how big my family is. Um, you can literally see me standing in line for ice cream. For ice cream. Um... A lot of these uh, people are also just like neighbors in general but you know what it, it's the philippines i'm at this point i'm related with to everyone who's filipino so i mean i'm counting them as family but you can really see how big the community is there but basically these clips that you um do see here um this one with me eating with my hands um was actually when we first arrived in the philippines i forgot what it's called but like i've done it before you, you know with the whole like wrapping the i think it's the banana leaves on the table and like eating with like everyone there um it made me really feel a lot more connected to my family um over here i think it was a graduation celebration for my brother and for my aunt's wedding even though my aunt wasn't with us in the philippines what i mean um it was a great time we were just celebrating things there but yeah you can you can definitely see how much family members i have oh my gosh um speaking of which uh, it was kind of hard actually getting used to how much family members I have in the Philippines because like <laughs> Here in Hawaii, I'm like so used to just like being alone and like, you know Just only spending time with family members on special occasions So like seeing like all of these people like every single day kind of got me tired out not gonna lie But also like I still had a lot of fun regardless, but dang um, the vibes here in um, Hawaii even though it feels very like family um oriented here um still feels way 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 different um in the philippines and what like family or like you know being together means because like like yes you know like hawaii still has like this very close like family bond with everyone here especially like as a community but like i feel like the philippines definitely just takes that up a notch you know everyone's there like watching out for each other and all of that type of stuff which is why i also like the philippines too because it reminded me a lot of you know hawaii of like home and i'm glad i was able to experience that there as well um love hawaii and the philippines <laughs> One thing that I will not stand for in the Philippines is how hard these streets are to navigate. Um, this first clip here was actually us trying to find our house at 3 in the morning. Mind you, we landed at like 1 a.m. and we did not get to our house until 4 a.m. And then you can just see literally all the cows and ev everything just moving around, the street dogs, everything. Um, speaking of which though, a lot of... Uh, people there start work actually early because like even though it's like 4 3 a.m I mean like I know like people work that early too, but like a lot of people are just waking up at that time um, These next few clips were just like clips of like how the streets are in the Philippines Which is very very different um, than in like Hawaii or like America in general. Um, oh my gosh guys I cannot stand the traffic there. I'm so sorry, but like not only are the streets like hard to navigate through but like it's also not walkable i'm so sorry <laughs> like there is like little to like no like sidewalk to walk on like whenever you're there so like literally you're like there and then like a couple feet away from you is like the car um speaking about the traffic though literally it is the worst traffic i've ever experienced i thought new york city traffic was bad um when i went but no this this was way worse because um, in the beginning in the morning, it took us like what two to three hours to get to the mall Which I think actually are these clips that I'm showing you right now But trying to get back in the evening time We left at 4 p.m. And we did not get to our house until 11 p.m. That's how bad it was I was literally gonna die like if you if you had to pee then you're screwed you're gonna piss your pants you're gonna piss your pants you're gonna piss your pants you're gonna sit in pissy pants until you got home um other than that um the streets were also just very different like how it looked um there is like advertisements everywhere like billboards i was crazy about that um here is actually me at the mall about to shake some at shakey's hey oh there's my mom um yeah um we don't have a shakey's here in hawaii apparently we used to but we don't um i think <laughs> um it's just like a pizza place and here's me actually ringing the bell of satisfaction and right after this clip i literally tripped 
And it was, yeah, you can see how embarrassed I was. Like, I think that was karma. I think someone was actually trying to get me. Now I'm playing. But, um, Chakey's was good. I loved the pizza. The pizza actually also felt a bit different in the Philippines. Actually, everything in general just felt different. Why? Because I'm not in Hawaii. I'm in the Philippines. Um, <laughs> the malls were very, 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 very big. Um, these are just some few clips. I think this is at a different mall, but you can just tell how big these malls were um speaking of which a lot of the food there was actually cheaper as well which is one of the things i loved about the philippines i love the cheap food like literally a meal at jollibee was just a dollar for like chicken and rice like that's like a lot here even mcdonald's we've had like a group of like seven people for like thirty dollars only that's like 80 in america um also look at these elevator elevator buttons um they were just turning on by themselves and here right here you can see how bad the traffic was anyways but other than that um you know just come with me to be cold and other stuff but i mean it's been really nice here it was yeah it's been really nice but i mean um i'll let i'll talk to you guys more about it you know later you know it's currently 9 p.m um getting ready to go to the country area side i guess um i'm going to be cold and um it's literally a seven hour drive to get there so it's it's gonna be a really long drive but i mean let's get ready um so in this clip we're now finally going to the countryside or to be cold to be honest do i really know if it's the countryside um no but I'm gonna just assume it is for now. Um, we're just here getting gas. When I look to my right and I see BTS, I love BTS. Actually, no, I'm more of a girl group. I'm um, listener. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, here's us on the road, and let me tell you, this is such a long drive. I think it's like almost like seven hours. Okay, we left. Okay, we left at 11 p.m. and then we ended up getting there at like in the afternoon it's crazy but also because like we stopped by like you know like to pee at like 7-eleven and we stopped by as well to pick up like family friends and stuff and then look at the view from the place they live at like it's like a little like area where people live but basically where we are i think it's like where a lot of people like fish because like all around it's just like water and water and water like everywhere but um this is just like right where the sun uh sunrise is uh starting to happen and um, it was just honestly gorgeous like the philippines is like really beautiful um here's us getting back on the road and um it was actually kind of peaceful um I had my headphones on like literally for almost all the time so it was it was just like a vibe um if you guys have any questions about like the philippines or like um anything you guys want me to talk about like um i'm always down to like a make a video about like my experiences there so if you guys are any like interested then just comment down below and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as it comes to an end soon <laughs>